Peace and power, family. It's your host, Brother A. I'm here with some good news today. Finally, I've been able to share some good news with you here on the BBE Report. I've been trying to do a story on this girl for a while, or at least I wanted to do a story on this girl for a while, and that is Simone Biles. Also, I'll be talking a, a little bit about Gabby Douglas and Lori Hernandez, these are three women of color who are going to be representing the women's gymnastics team in the Olympics this year. It is a tremendous feat. It's the first time ever that we had three women of color representing for the U.S. of A. for the gymnastics team. Gabby Douglas being the first African-American woman to win the all-around competition at the last London Games. And now we have Simone Biles, three-time, three-time, three-time world champ, who may go down as the greatest gymnast of all time. Now, I'm going to list down um, some stats of the three girls that I mentioned. Uh, congratulations to everybody on the team. I'll, I'll be giving a shout-out to each of them, but particularly focusing on those three girls and particularly a big, big, a thumbs up to Simone Biles because I've been following this girl for three and a half years now and just seen her progress and grow and get better and become perhaps the greatest gymnast ever. But stay with me. I'm going to give you an article on their stats and where they came from as far as their gymnastic background and where they are today. Team USA will send one of its most decorated and competitive women gymnastic teams ever to next month's Rio 2016 Olympic Games and as it attempts to defend its Olympic team gold medal for the first time in history. Chosen after two intense nights of competition at the U.S. Olympic team trials, the team is led by three-time all-around world champion Simone Biles, who is already the most decorated U.S. gymnast and will look to cement her place in history at her Olympic debut in Rio. Gabby Douglas and Ali Raisman returned to the Olympic team after winning both team and individual goals at the London Games four years ago. They become the first U.S. team gymnasts to make two Olympic teams since Dominique Dawes and Amy Chow did so from 1996 to 2000. Joining them first year senior standout Lori Hernandez who finished second to Biles at Olympic trials and became, becomes the first Puerto Rican woman to make it to the U.S. Olympics gymnastic team. An uneven bar specialist, Madison Cochin, who last year won the world title in uneven boards in a four-way tie. The three replacement athletes are Aston Locklear, Michaela Skinner, and Reagan Smith. Let's meet the members of the 2016 U U.S. Olympic women's gymnastic team. Starting off, my girl, my home girl, I don't know her, but Simone Biles. Hometown, Spring, Texas. Age, 19. Years on senior level, senior. Simone Biles made her senior debut at the 2013 AT&T American Cup in 2016, marks her fourth year as a senior. Who is Simone Biles? Biles is considered by many to be the greatest female gymnast ever, me included. In three years, she won 14 world championship medals, 10 golds, more than any U.S. athlete in history. Already made history. Rio Expectations. Biles has built her impressive legacy for four years, patiently waiting to make her mark at the Olympic Games. She and the rest of the world have high expectations for her performance in Rio. All eyes will be on her to see if she could take home five golds, Team all around, balance beam, floor, and vault. That's a lot to ask. Biles struggles on uneven bars and has not won a world medal on that event. International experience and highlights. Biles has 14 world championship medals, two team goals, 2014-2015, three all around goals, 2013-2015, three floor goals, 2013-2015, Two golds, 2014 through 2015, and a bronze, 2013, on a balance beam. And two silvers, 2013 and 2015, and a bronze, 2014, on vault. This girl is a beast. How she fared at Olympic trials. 
Biles won the all-around, earning the sole automatic qualification spot and was tops on floor exercise and vault while finishing fourth on balance beam and tied for fourth on uneven bars. How's the team naming really felt compared to what she expected? This is her quote. I think we all thought we would be a little bit more nervous in the waiting room, but we were just talking and on our phones and, and taking pictures, kind of having fun because you want to remember if it is having fun instead of almost passing out. She's right about that one. Thoughts on upcoming month leading up to Rio. She says, I'm excited about being with the girls all the time because we all know what it's like to go through this and we have each other to lean on. And I think that's the best thing that could have happened. You're right about that. Now let's talk about someone that a lot of people are familiar with because of her last debut into the London games and that is another one of my homegirls Gabby Douglas hometown Los Angeles California age 20 years on senior level Gabby Douglas made her senior debut in 2011 though she did not compete in 2013 and 2014 taking a break after the 2012 Olympic Games who is Gabby Douglas Douglas made history in 2012 when she became the first U.S. athlete to win both team and all-around gold medals. She's also the first black gymnast to win an individual Olympic gold medal. In making the 2016 team, she is the first Olympic all-around champion to return to the next game since Nadia Kamenichi did so in 1980. Rio Expectations Douglas will, of course, help the team toward gold in Rio and could be a surprise all-around final competitor and medalist. While she hasn't been at her best at the recent PNG Championships and Olympic Trials, Douglas has proven she can put out her best when it matters most, winning both the Olympic all-around gold in 2012 and world all-around silver in 2015, which was her comeback year. I watched that year. Second only to Simone Biles was Gabby Douglas. International experience highlights. Douglas owns two Olympic goals, two world championship team goals, 2011-2015, and world all-around silver from her comeback year, 2015. How she fared at Olympic trials? Douglas was seventh in the all-around and third on uneven bars. She also took six on vote, was tied for six on floor, and was 11th in uneven bars. She made the team based off of her experience. On earning her spot on the Olympics team, she says, I feel like through my whole career, I've had to fight for everything. I'm used to it by now, but at the same time, it's like, let's do it and let's keep fighting. That's me and that's my demeanor. Good way to be, Gabby. I'm being compared to her 2012 self. She's such a much more mature, grown-up lady now. But she says, I do not want to be sharper. When I look at my performances, I'm like, oh, you're lagging behind, Gabs. The one thing I tell myself is to not get lazy. Nothing is handed to you. You always have to fight for yourself. Personally, I don't feel as sharp as London, but that's going to change. Right now, I'm so determined to get back in the gym and be better than before. Great mindset, Gabby. It's a great way to be, and like I said, you have all of my support. And the third girl that we're highlighting today on this episode is Lori Hernandez from my home state of New Jersey. Hometown, Old Bridge, New Jersey. Jersey. Age 16. Years on senior level, Lori Hernandez is a first-year senior, the only one on the Olympic team. This girl is a standout young teenager. Who is Lori Hernandez? Hernandez is the sole first-year senior-level gymnast on the team and was picked as a favorite to make the team after winning the junior all-around national team title last year. Real expectation, like many of her teammates, Hernandez can contribute in all four events and will be a key in the team final. She is a favorite to contend for an all-around medal at her Olympic debut. She should make the final. She could also make events finals in balance beam and potentially uneven bars. Once again, this girl likes Simone Biles. Maybe not to the same extent, but she's also a beast. A young beast at that. International experience highlights. Rio will be Hernandez's first major senior international meet. 
but at her senior international debut in March, she was first on balance beam, second on vault, and third in all around at Gillesso Trophy in Italy. To tell you how good that is, I... she's pretty good. How she fared at Olympic trials. Hernandez made a big statement for herself, finishing second to Biles in the all-around, in addition to winning balance beam. She also was third on floor, fourth on vault, and seventh on uneven bars. This girl is going to be right on Simone Biles' hill for that all-around title at the Games. Trust and believe. On making an Olympic team with Olympic champions Douglas and Raisman, quote, That's incredible. Wow. That's all I can really say. I was 12. And that's really that's a really young age. Four years really matures you. I didn't realize how much mentally and physically older I got in the past four years. So looking back at this little girl watching it, the Olympics on her phone, I would never think I'd be here right now. <laughs> Such a uh, innocent, truthful uh, view by her. What she is looking forward to most from now through Rio. This next month is going to be really hard. It's not sugar-coated at all. I'm ready for all the training and everything. We have tomorrow off, then it's back in the gym. There's so many things that I want to go back and fix. I can't wait. Once again, congratulations to all of Team USA, um, Ali Raisman and Madison Coaching included, but especially the three highlights or the three standouts of the team this year, that being Simone Biles, Gabby Douglas, Corey Hernandez. Big up to those girls. I'm so proud of them. I'm so proud of this, uh, Simone Biles, especially after I've been following her and I've been waiting for her to get to these games just so she could show, show the world what I already knew about her. And that is, she is the best gymnast of all time. I was just 36 days until the 2016 Olympic Games. Much less than that now. This article is from June 30th. Officially kick off in Rio de Janeiro. Team Vogue is helping us to get in the competitive spirit. The magazine tapped Team USA gymnasts and all-around superstars Gabby Douglas, 20, and Simone Biles, 19, to front a special August issue with two separate covers. The pair posed for Nike gear alongside the cover line Body Beautiful, a more than fitting description if only based on their phenomenal physique. Douglas, who at 16 won the individual all-around gold medal in 2012, leaps across the page with her long hair flowing in braids, and Biles, who will be making her Olympic debut, sits upright in a light cloud of chalk. It's clear they have not one ounce of perceptible body fat on them, but that's not the point. As strong young women, both in build and in will, their bodies are proof of the great physical heights we can push ourselves to achieve. Douglas and Biles make up two-fifths of the 2016 Olympic team for women's gymnastics. It's worth noting that together they comprise an incredibly diverse group, a great representation of, the, of this nation as a whole. While Douglas and Biles are black women, Ali Rasman, 22, is Jewish, Aston Locklear, 18, is Native American, and Lori Hernandez, it's part Hispanic, but as I told you, she's Puerto Rican. That's just the article about them, Simone Biles and Gabby Douglas, being on the cover of Team Vogue, which is also a big deal. More news! This last article is from Essence. It's entitled, Three Black Women Land on Time's Next Generation Leaders List. This is beautiful, I'm trying to tell you. Time's annual Next Generation Leaders list is out and it features three black women whose names you should know. Simone Biles, Scran Kaba Jones, and Destiny Watford are three phenomenal women of color who are making strides in their communities all around the world who are each hard at work making a difference and we are absolutely here for them. Biles may be a name you already know and for good reason. The 19-year-old recently becomes the first woman to win four consecutive national championships in 42 years. Biles is also well on her way to follow in the footsteps of her team U.S. gymnastic teammate, Gabby Douglas, by winning gold at the upcoming 2016 Olympic Games in Rio. 
Taran Kaba Jones, 34, is a Liberian water activist. Jones returned to her native country in 2008 to discover that water wasn't flowing through her homeland following years of civil war that caused havoc and mayhem for the people. She soon developed FACE, Africa, F-A-C-E, Africa, an organization which has created 50 water supply systems since 2009. And Destiny Waffer is a 21-year-old college student from Baltimore, but she's by no means the average college student. Waffer happens to be fighting for environmental justice on the streets of Maryland City. Her crusade to end the air pollution recently won her the prestigious Goldman Environmental Prize. As her home neighborhood is plagued with asthma-affected citizens as a result of the community being the most polluted in the state of Maryland. These are the next generation leaders. So we have Simone Biles, Gabby Douglas, Lori Hernandez on the Olympic team. And for the next generation leaders, Simone Biles, Taran Kaba Jones, and finally, Destiny Watford. These women, these black, ebony, brown skin, higher melanated women, or something to be commended. Uh, along with Lori Hernandez, I just want to give them a big hand, a big round of applause. Thank you, girls, for being an inspiration to me and people who look like yourself. Thank you and keep up the good work. Peace and power.